It's really quite staggering, you know, how often we judge other people, how they look, their facial expressions, their body language, what they say, and what they do. In fact, we judge others many times each day. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. Now think about it. You meet someone new, what's your first read? How they look. And as brutal as this may sound, most people treat attractive people quite differently to those whom they perceive to be unattractive. But even someone we may know pretty well, when they say something that we disagree with, what do we do? We judge them. We drop our presuppositions, our biases on their head in brutal judgment of their perspective. And that right there is where conflict begins. So what if we handle things differently? Don't judge others and God won't judge you. Don't condemn others and you won't be condemned. Forgive others and you'll be forgiven. So what if we suspended our judgment? What if rather than judging them, we forgave them? What if in that moment we allowed their humanity with all its hopes and dreams and foibles and flaws, just like our own, to demand of us the compassion that it deserves? How different would our relationships be then? How different would our world be then? Conflict begins in that moment of judgment. Compassion begins when we suspend judgment. Conflict begins when we shut ourselves off from their humanity and treat them like an object to be manipulated. Love begins when we yearn to understand why they're saying or doing what they are. Don't judge others and God won't judge you. Don't condemn others and you won't be condemned. Forgive others and you'll be forgiven. That's God's word fresh for you today. Sin is the most insidious thing, isn't it? It comes at us to destroy our lives and relationships when we least expect it. That's why I'd love to send you a free copy of our special edition book. It's called Eliminating Stubborn Sin Once and For All. To request yours, stop by at ChristianityWorks.com and you'll see that free offer right there towards the top of the homepage. That web address again is ChristianityWorks.com. Come.